Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna Stashkina and this week we are going to talk about the wafer paper and I'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful, lacy, ethereal but impressive wafer paper flower. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, please leave me a comment because I love reading your comments and answering your questions and let's begin! I use a piece of uh, wafer paper and I cut my petals in three different sizes, in a large size, and large size, I would say about two and a half inches, maybe a little bit more than 10 centimeters, and uh, medium size, so half of that, and I did it in a small size, maybe inch and a half even smaller than that. I made 10 in each size. Here I have a bowl with water, just clear water, a touch of this dusty rose gel, and I mix it in to make um, a color I want, like light pink, and I have my non-stick pan on a stove on a medium heat. And I'm just dipping wafer paper petals in my water mixture and placing them on my preheated pan. And this is just regular non-stick pan, nothing, I didn't add any oil, nothing. And as you can see, it takes literally uh, just a few seconds. If it's dry, like completely dry, it is already done. So next what I did, uh, I used a 24 gauge wire and I made a tiny hook on the top. Then I'm taking my smallest petal. I'm adding just a touch of wafer glue. So now I'm taking my wire and my first petal, sticking them together like that. And I'm not trying to make but technically correct flowers or petals. I'm trying to make something interesting and something that you can make in a few minutes and put it on your cake, impress your guests or your clients. Uh, I can leave it like this and place it on my cake, but I wanted to show you how to make it bigger. And I'm going to use 28 gauge white wire. I'm going to use my wafer glue and lightly brush it on one side. And I'm going to place my wire and because part with the wafer glue is soft, I can fix it and in, like kind of insert my wire into my pedal. And I will leave it to dry again for a few minutes. So what I have here is my pedals, small, medium and large one. So I have uh, five small ones here and I have five small ones here left. And I have 10 of any other size. And I'm going to bend my petals just a little bit. So I'm using white floral tape. And to activate your floral tape, you need to uh, grab two ends or like two parts and pull it apart. And I place my wire maybe a few millimeters in, fold it over like this to make sure it's secure. And I'm starting to rotate my center around and stick it to my floral tape. Now I'm going to add my petals and I'm going to go like one by one and add them relatively close together on the same layer of floral tape because I don't want my flower to be bulky so I'll try to fit as much petals as I can in one layer. If you wanted to make this even bigger, you can absolutely do that because wafer paper is light and you can make petals as large as you wanted to. So you can see it takes minutes to make flower like this. And I definitely see that uh, I have a few petals are a little bit longer compared to other petals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pair of scissors and just cut it and this one. 
So if you're working with wafer paper and you do not like how your petals look, even when you already assembled your flower and put it on the cake, you can still go back and trim it, give it a haircut, because wafer paper will let you do whatever you want. Here is my finished wafer paper flower with lacy wafer paper petals and different colors. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And if you have any questions or you would like to try this technique, and I hope you will try this technique, please tag me on social media, Instagram or Facebook as Astashkina Cakes, and I would love to see your results. See you next week, same time, same place. Bye-bye.